Hey guys, today we're going to be working on glass doors. Um, this is kind of like a nano wall door style. This is the project we're working on today. Um, when you are doing this project, you're going to, of course, start with a grid. Um, and then you're going, to figure, you're going to figure out the opening of the door. And you're counting out on the back wall. I'm doing both the left wall and the back wall so you can see what it would, be, what it would look like on both walls. So first I do the opening, I do the vertical line. Now for the side wall. And the foreground line here. Then I'm going to do the height of it all. So here's the height for the side wall. And then using horizontal lines for the height of the back wall. This is one point perspective. So I'm going to have horizontal lines, vertical lines, and lines that are right from the vanishing point. I'm going to go ahead and draw the, um, start the floor line, basically. So you can kind of see the opening a little bit better. And the corner line here and the ceiling line, just so that you can see the difference. Sometimes it's hard to see because of the grid. So I'm gonna emphasize those uh, lines a little bit more. All right, so now I'm gonna do the thickness of the exterior wall for the inside corners. And now I'm gonna do the vertical line. So you can kind of see the thickness of that wall there. And then I'm going to array um, a line from the vanishing point where that intersects the horizontal line and the vertical line. So I'm going to do the same thing for the thickness of these side walls, or for the exterior walls for the back wall, rather. So now I'm trying to give the back uh, wall sense of thickness for the exterior part of the wall. So I'm just arraying that line a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a vertical line. So you can see there's a thickness to that. And then where that intersects the array line, I'm going to go ahead and do a horizontal line. And I'm just going to do the threshold line there. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it connect back here with another vertical line where it intersects the array line. All right, so that at least gives you an idea of the opening of this door. I'm going to go ahead and continue working on the, the side window. And do the line here the, that arrays from the vanishing point for the threshold here. I'm going to do a little frame here at the top. Just drawing some vertical lines here, so it could be part of the frame. You know, obviously you're going to, you know, look at the specs and see how many actual panels you would need, and then just draw it based off of that. But for this is just for the sake of conceptual drawing. This is how it would look approximately. You know, you're drawing the frames as if it's in the folded position, and you're doing the thickness of the frame, and you have some horizontal lines to show that. The frame you know folds out um, towards the outside let's say if this is the outside like patio or something this is what it would kind of look like now for the back walls you're going to do the same thing you're going to offset some vertical lines to show like the thickness of each of these panels and of course you're going to do the math that's appropriate based off of the specs for the product. Um, and then if you want to show that, hey, these panels in the folded position, there's some kind of perspective to it, you're going to go to the vanishing point um, for every rectangular line. So now you're just going to you know, connect the dots here for the 
horizontal aspects of the uh, framing. And you can definitely define this a little bit more. But this is just for conceptual drawing. If you're wanting to draw something that looks like a nano wall or some you know, folding glass windows, doors, this is how you approach it. All right, I hope that helps you, and I will see you next time.